I'm sorry, folks. I just can't help it. There's something a little bit wrong, but this is right. I've been getting a lot of questions from my viewers about my reels, my rod, the type of uh, line that I use, all this. So I'm going to tell you what I appreciate your subscriptions, I appreciate the views, and I'm gonna do it. Let's do this. Let's make this simple. Because when it comes to a rod, now I've been fishing ever since I was six years old. So when it comes to crappie fishing, I learned early that I, you know it's real important to have a real, real flimsy rod. For those of y'all who's starting off i like the the rod to bend actually a little bit more one about one third from the tip real limber and it's very important and the reason is is to keep this small hook from ripping out of the crappie's mouth a crappie has a real real soft mouth and you need a forgiving rod Never horse a crappie. When you hook that fish, just take your time. He'll wear out. Okay. Now, the kind of rod that I like to use, the very best one that I've found so far, and I don't like two-piece rods, but this one I love. It's made by Eagle Claw. It's six foot long. Um, ultra light. And I have three of these. That's what I use for casting. Reels. Now I'm gonna tell you, these are expensive reels that I use. I've got three that I use specifically for casting. This one has seven ball bearings. It's a Garcia Saron. It's they're about a hundred dollars. <throat> and these other two reels, I have a Shimano, and it's got eight ball bearings. It was about $125. And then I've got a, another reel right here that I just bought. And it's a good one. Akuma. And it was about $100. And it has eight ball bearings. These reels are expensive, but it's really important. If you're going to get into the uh, crappie fishing, and if you want to use the technique of casting, get you a good reel. Very important. Lines. I've simplified my lines. I like Crappie Max. Now I buy the, this stuff here at Bass Pro Shop. This is four pound test right here. This is Vicious, made by Vicious. It says Vicious Panfish, six pound test. If you notice, these lines right here are real visible. They're highly visible. Done mentioned in my videos, I've proven a fact that I've fished in gin clear water. Crappie are not line shy. So this high vis line don't affect them at all. If you're in my age group, 50 years and older, this high vis line will help you out because you'll actually be able to see it where the line touches the water and you'll see that little thump a lot better. That's the reason I started using it. I used to could use clear line. I used to have perfect eyesight, but that's what happens when you get a little older. Now, I haven't stressed it on my videos, but I use Berkeley Power Bait Crappie Attractant. Been using it for years. And yes, I do believe in attractant because there's no doubt that uh, we stink. We stink to all animals fish believe it or not it's been a proven fact and i believe that it helps however the fact is if you don't use it you can still catch fish but i believe you catch a few more if you'll mask your human odor off your bait i really believe that okay jigs now there's two types that i'm using right now but i've got all kinds of different i got that tackle box and two more full of stuff but my favorite right now is Strike King, Mr. Crappie. Okay. My next favorite brand is Bobby Garland. No doubt. 
These two baits, in comparison to length, they're both two inches long. And shape are basically the same. There's a little subtle differences between the two. Of course, uh, account of uh, patent issues and things of that nature. But to say that I prefer Bobby Garland over Strike King wouldn't be right because they're both equal to me as far as good baits. Now, I'll tell you this. Let me break these colors out. This is how I've simplified my fishing. Of course, I use all kinds of different colors, but when it comes to dingy water, where the visibility is less than a foot to three foot, I love to use these two colors right here. This top one is called Twilight. It's a Bobby Garland product. The bottom one is Pink Phantom. Both of these colors here has proven to me over the years to, to be the best. And remember, I don't fish just every once in a while. I've been fishing all my life. I'm an avid fisherman. I mean, I don't know it all, but I know that that's a fact. That's a fact. And also, in my opinion, it's a fact. Okay, but when it comes to clear water, in my opinion, blue ice cannot be beat. As long as you're throwing blue ice, you're in good shape. And that's just another opinion. Okay, now when it comes to jig heads, what I work with mainly and have learned through the years, I like a uh, 164th, I like a 132nd, and then a 1 16th, this is the 132nd, and here's the 1 16th. I rarely have to use anything heavier than a 1 16th, the way I fish. Because I'll downsize my line before I'll use a heavier jig head. That's just a comfort zone for me, just an opinion. Okay, now the size of hooks in these jig heads vary. This is a 164th, and they have a number six hook in it. This 132nd one, this orange one, has a uh, number six in it. And this 116th right here has a number four hook in, in the jig head. Now, when it comes to these number sixes, they're, they're pretty small. That's really more like for a bluegill or a shellcracker. But what I'll do is take a pair of pliers and bend that hook up just slightly. And uh, that'll take care of any missed fish. It will hold that crappie. I've caught two and a half pound crappie by using a number six hook. So I try to keep everything just as light as possible when it comes to crappie fishing. And that's about it on the jigs. But later on in the week, we're gonna be uploading a video that we shot today. Good trip. Elmer didn't get to go with me, but he said that he'd promise next trip he would. So, you know, go fishing when you can. Ooh, because it's good for you.